I was in the hallway at a radio station in Charlotte, North Carolina, 107.9, when it finally hit me in the heart why I was in so much pain mentally, but I didn't know how to talk about it physically. And what it was is that I, I didn't understand why I was always wanting to create something from painting to being on the air to producing. I mean, everything. People, I, I, I've earned this, this title. Is there something you don't do? No, I do it all. That's, that's an ego problem, right? No, it's not. It's when you are creative and you are, in a, you are a creative energy, to me, that's an addiction. That's an addiction to creativity. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because, you know what? We all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I don't know. I think it was like 6.30 this morning. I was text messaging a friend who was kind of in a, in a little rut. Uh, he's he's becoming a an assistant manager at a grocery store. And, and you know, that that's a different world. If, if you've never worked behind the scenes of retail, that's a different world. It's, it's a strange beast, and you've got to learn to adjust into that lifestyle. And, and that means sometimes being there at 5 o'clock in the morning. Other times that means being there at 11, 12 o'clock at night. But, but he was having a struggling time because the, we, we're in this age of you know, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, where you just wave your phone over, over this little device, and all of a sudden you expect it to be, to be paid. And, and it does, not everybody is doing that. There's a lot of billion dollar businesses that just don't do that. And he was so upset because first off this morning, $350 of groceries and he's got to go put them back. And the reason why is because the dude had Apple Pay. So and, and, and you know, you ask the question, do you have a credit card? Yeah, I forgot it at home. So I, I, I got to tell you, my, my father would have just put his foot down right then and there because my dad, he was that guy that would say you would forget your ass if it was not attached. Now, as a child, I truly didn't understand that term because my butt was the one thing that I wanted to set aside. Can you imagine how uncomfortable people would be if they were allowed to forget their butts? You know, like a credit card or a driver's license at a grocery store. They would spend so much time trying to borrow another person's butt only to complain about the size and the, the way it just doesn't look right. But they need a butt. Because you know what butts are for. And of course you would hear, I'm sorry to bother you, but I need to borrow your butt for about 20 minutes maybe. I left mine at my uncle's house last Tuesday. Or, you're not going to believe this, but someone stole my butt. Can I borrow your butt? Because someone stole my butt and I, I, I don't have a butt right now. Can you imagine trying to sit on a toilet using someone else's butt? And then to clean it? <laughs> hey, uh, thanks for letting me use your butt. Uh, they didn't have any TP today. Okay, so what's the moral of the story, right? Where am I going with this? Don't leave home without it. Your credit card. Not everybody is doing Apple Pay. Come on. Catch up with the world. Don't let the world try to catch up to you because you may be one of those people that is so far out there. I Look, look, look. Let me tell you something. In 2012, when I started podcasting, one of the biggest broadcasting companies looked at me and said, what are you doing again? All right, you, you, you keep doing your hobby, okay? Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. It's stuff like this, man. Leaving your butt at home that I like to write about. I like looking at life and saying, yeah, we're going to write about that today. Mm hmm. This is The Daily Mess. The journey toward the understanding of thought. When we hear it in our head, it all fits. It sounds great. Why didn't anyone else think of this? Then, then, we take that thought that we're feeling pretty good about and we write it out or we speak about it openly. None of it matches the way that you first heard it inside your head. How? how why? Where, where do things go wrong here, right? I mean, it seemed like a really good idea when you first thought about it. Well, you see, thoughts are like dreams. We sing in tune when we're dreaming, and we can fly while we're dreaming. To understand thoughts requires a process of knowing how you think. It's through an experience, or it's through a discovery. So much thought is always forced out of us. Well, what do you think about this? How many times have you been in that situation? Been in a meeting at work? What do you think about this? Can, can we get your point of direction? Um, what, what, what are your thoughts on this, Johnny? And, and it's like, you're, you're pushing too hard. And, and, and then you start bouncing ideas off each other. 
And it's like, this is not an exercise program. Well, you got to tell me what you think. Taking it to the masses without any thought is, is going to cost something. It's, 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 there's a price to it. Because when you make a mistake, then what you were thinking is going to cost you. Because they're either going to like it or they're not. I mean, I, I really am shocked that we don't have mental hernias. Because we're always trying to push thought out. So why are we even talking about this? Because I had an idea. My idea was based on sharing a thought. But the way that I heard it in my head, I have to sit back now and wonder. Did you understand anything that I was even thinking about? Huh. I did write it down, but I don't see your reaction. What, what were you thinking before this mess? I'm Arrow, and that is The Daily Mess.